it's a big thing that I think martial arts teaches you is humility because no matter how good you are, there'll always be somebody who can come and batter you. And so not not going in with having an ego is 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 a huge part of, of martial arts. You know, the humility it teaches you is, is, is invaluable. Yeah. It sounds like you you think that martial arts has is, is, is somewhat equipped you with the ability to, to be authentic and, and take those learnings from more junior colleagues and, and not feel threatened by that? I'd say, so I, I first went into martial arts. So short answer, yes, absolutely. I think I think it, it it's a large part of my success as a, as a, as a person. Um, you know, I'm not remotely the finished article or, or the most successful person on the planet, but, you know, I think, I've, I guess I've, I've enjoyed, um, I guess, the success of being where I am now. And I think the martial arts has played a huge part in that. And I first went into that when I was probably, I don't know, I guess eight, nine, something like that. Um, and I was watching probably a lot of... I don't know, kung fu type movies at the time and I was just on and on at my parents. I was like, I want to do karate, karate kung fu, whatever that's at. They ended up taking me to judo and I was like, well, this isn't karate, but it's probably the best thing that I did because yeah. it was real um, and it was difficult and you got hurt and you got thrown around. So you people out there that don't know what judo is, what's judo? Why are you asking like those big questions? Well, no, like no, like a, a equivalent, like because I didn't know what judo was until I started. Yeah, okay. Um, so I've heard of like judo, jujitsu. Okay, you got judo, jujitsu. Judo, just judo is essentially the sport, one of the sport versions of the original types of um, Japanese jujitsu. So it's based on throws, uh, throws to the floor, and then um, ground control uh, to submissions. Not in the same way that that jujitsu or well, BJJ works. Um, but it's really practical and it's a defensive martial art first, which is a really important point as well. I think, you know, while I think martial arts are great, I think it can be quite a challenge taking this six year old, six year old lad who, or whatever age I was, eight, what did I say, eight, and um, going, right, here's how to punch and kick, but we don't want you to punch and kick anyone. And I'm like, yeah, but I've just learned how to punch and kick. <laughs> Everyone's getting it. Um, Whereas judo, is, it's, it's, it's a defensive martial art, so it teaches that restraint, control, discipline. And do you know one of the most important things? It teaches you to fall, which sounds stupid, but, yeah. you know, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't yourself. know when I started jiu-jitsu, I didn't know how to fall. Mm. I remember when I was doing like um, a couple of judo throws. Yeah. And they were chucking me on the mat and I was just hitting so hard. And they were like, <laughs> they were like, like, <laughs> do, 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 do you break fall? Yeah. And I was like, what's a break fall? <laughs> yeah. I, think, I, think I, I just did break falling, thanks. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> yeah, that was it though. But yeah. if, you, if you're out with that, loop and you've never done any sort of martial art like me i'd never i always yeah. played football so i never had a clue you know i come in completely blind and then we we're just doing a couple of judo throws and i was thinking fuck me i'm getting out yeah, and you, you hit. <laughs> if you don't break your fall it hurts and i'm a big boy you know hit hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so you started with judo and then what did you want to after that well so the, the the judo thing was probably the first most humbling moment i was getting quite good um, I'd, I'd done pretty well in a couple of competitions. I was, you know, I was, I was yeah. always training with the the older boys in the class, like the higher belts, because I was prepared to take a beating. But I was like, that I'm going to learn more by working mm -hmm. with the harder uh, with the high level belts. And uh, this family came in um, who hadn't been there for a while, and uh, three, three, uh, three girls, three sisters came in. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking nails. I'm like one, one of the best. And they, they all soundly beat the shit out of me, <laughs> <laughs> including the youngest one, who's like a couple of years younger than me and a lower belt. And I was just like, yeah, ego, ego just fucking goes out the door. You can't have yeah, it. Yeah, you find that across so many different martial arts though. I mean, there's, I've had similar experiences as well. And I think when I got introduced to, I guess, judo, um, but, you know, sort of MMA and, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, it was with uh, the owner of Flow, and uh, it was years ago before before Flow existed. And I was training at uh, Saints, yeah. And I was doing Muay Thai, so Thai boxing, um, which is just the art of of punching, kicking, elbowing, and kneeing. But there's some clinch work involved with that as well. And there's a few throws that you're allowed to do. Um, I forget the rules. Um, I think you're not allowed no to- no trips, basically. Yeah, but you can. It's it's mostly from the head, isn't it? Yeah. So you just yeah you just off balance people, but you're not you're not able able to sort of step in with the hips or anything. You're doing judo, and I was doing some clinch work with this guy, and I was again quite a big lad, probably about fifteen stone, so ninety five kilos somewhere around there, and we were doing clinch work, and this guy just launched me in the air, and I got taken off my feet, and I flew through the air, and it never happened to me in my life, and it was so humbling. 
hopped up, did it again. <laughs> and I said, mate, how have you just done that? And he was like, oh, just Judah, bit of Judah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just cash, yeah. 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 cash, yeah. And, and that was then when I trans- transitioned more into grappling sports. And, but, but throughout my journey in martial arts, in Thai boxing, there was an occasion where you had some guy in, he was a bit of a thug and he was spying with a girl. He was over my shoulder and I could hear him beating her up inspiring so i thought right i'll get hold of this lad next round and i'll you know uh, at least i'm his own size Mm -hmm. so the round ended i turned around and this poor guy was just bleeding from the nose his his eye was swelling a little bit and it wasn't him beating the girl (laughs) up she was beating him up and he was so much bigger i I had the same experience at saints as well yeah Um, might be the same girl some savages uh, (laughs) yeah so he's saying so i I, I, you know i grew up in, in probably quite a traditional family and you know male female role models you know quite traditional verging on victorian probably at times um, <laughs> and uh, uh when i went to saints um so that was my first so i did karate for a while but karate at the time so what were saints like a just a mixed martial arts place Muay Thai yeah. focus but yeah, yeah they so just went into mma yeah so i'd say it was it started as a as a Thai boxing school, okay, cool. um, but then they 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 sort of uh, they introduced sort of MMA or cage fighting as it was called back then, which was a combination of multiple martial yeah. arts kind of just thrown together. And so I was like, you know, you, you don't hear women was a real standard, and so like coming into like um, start sparring, and this 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 one there, I like, found it really difficult. So I had had a, and she's like, can you just tip me? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, and she's like. Have you got any idea how fucking arrogant you are to think that yeah. you can't fucking you're going to hit me hard enough to stop me, and that I've got no ability to manage this? It's fucking insulting. Yeah, Can no you way. please hit me? And I was like, "Fuck! I've just realised what a dick. I've immediately assumed that with no experience at all, I'm going to be better than somebody who's mm. training." And again, it was another really humbling experience. So I, I then tried to hit her. <laughs> she then she smiled as I did, and then proceeded to batter the fuck out of me again. <laughs> I, was, I was like, right, okay, again, humbling. You know, yeah, you, you can't get, go into it. Those so, yeah. sort of lessons, though, that you can't explain to people that don't do an, um, mixed martial art. Like, yeah. like I went in com- again completely blind, and I thought, you know, big lad, I'll, I'll be all right. I went in there, and again, a girl who is pretty good, I'd say, she battered me. Yep. absolutely battered yep. me at jiu-jitsu and I left there and I thought fuck me my nuts are in a briefcase briefcase here <laughs> like Jesus I need to go home and find them because it you know and you, you go back and you think and then I was like wary like not in a thing but you, you just become you just become really aware that if you are untrained yep. anyone who's got a bit of training is better immediately. it's better yeah. six months of training yeah you will be oh, better than any yeah. any person who comes in off the street. Yeah. And you say that to people and they go, no way. And I'm like, I'm telling you, mate, like I'm fucking, you can't even explain to people. Like, yeah. you know, you get, you speak to people and they think they're hard or they think they're this, or they think they're that, or they fancy themselves, you know, and they, they say, well, I don't know, you know, bit boxing or I don't know. It's, it doesn't fucking matter. It, it literally doesn't matter. If someone gets hold of you and they know jujitsu or judo mm. or their mm. kickboxing or the, you know, MMA background at all, they're fucked. They are fucked. It was they even the example that. of your lad, wasn't it? He was uh, got into a bit of a, a, a school fight, I think, and uh, used his uh, kickboxing or tie boxing ability to just embarrass this kid. Tell yeah. the story. What, what and happened? So, I, don't know, I don't know how much detail I should go into it. But, you, um, might, you might be listening, so pray. Yeah, yeah. It's going to go. Um, <laughs> or don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and this is, the, it's, it's a broader point there because he, he now has a choice about how to behave. If, if he's, you know, he can choose how hard he goes. He can choose, if you've got somebody who has no training at all, they're going to go, um, you know, as hard as I can to get out of that situation, you know, not mindful of the damage they can cause either to themselves or other people. And what he has now is choice. So he can say, look, I don't want to fight. And he will walk away and try and stop it. But if he's in the place where he has to, um, somebody was trying to, essentially fight him and he was just like no I'm, I don't want to they don't need to try to disarm it and eventually this this other lad you know tries swinging at him and my son was just stepping back and moving out of the way and then just lightly tapping him and moving back out the way and dark tapping back and you know there's this lad trying his best to have a fight and he's just um, my son is is essentially just not even engaging and just making him look stupid so he's, he's just said look we can keep this up as long as you want or you can just stop now because I don't want to fight you. You know, there's probably other ways you can do it. You probably didn't need to humiliate him to that extent, but it's a choice. But you say and that, though, but then he could, he could have just kicked his head in, though. Yeah, he could, the same he could point, have just battered you know him. I mean? yeah. And that's the thing. So the training in martial arts gives you choice, but it gives you restraint and discipline and control. And, and 
yeah, and humility, you know. And I, and I think going back to the, the very original point where we got off on that is, is certainly for me, and it sounds like for you as well, that, that having done martial arts over the years and, and being humbled on multiple occasions on the mats, when I've worked in the issue of roles, it's just made me very open and confident about being wrong and asking questions and not knowing and, and being okay with that. Um, and I think, yeah, if people can sort of achieve that mindset, I think it will support them a lot in leadership. 